Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here once again here in the uh, evening hours here, Saturday evening here in California still. 10, about 10.30 p.m. here, June 15th, and we got another uh, pretty good-sized earthquake coming into the uh, same reason, region as we've seen that 7.2 happen earlier today. Uh, that's coming off of uh, earthquake near Fiji once again. You can see the uh, dominant earthquake signature here of a large earthquake. Uh, which will soon be showing up on other stations as well. This one coming off of a magnitude of 6.6. Uh, you can see that right there on that map. Pretty good sized earthquake once again, within uh, pretty much well within the vicinity of that 7.2. So a good possibility. We're just looking at a uh, aftershock. Uh, of course, a lot of folks know that uh, uh, you know, following any large earthquake, it's very possible within the 12 to 24 hour uh, time frame of seeing a uh, larger than the uh, main magnitude quake, you know, meaning that uh, an aftershock could be uh, much larger than the, uh, the main shaker there. Uh, but for now, 6.6, uh, you can see here on this little map here, you go down a little bit, you can see that 7.2 pop up there. Uh, within that same area just a little bit earlier today. I already did an update video on that uh, That earthquake back then earlier today was a 7.2 at 34 kilometers below the surface This one here a 6.6 .6 at 111 kilometers below the surface. So uh, definitely a significant uh, earthquake and uh, rather deep a little bit further away from the region of the 7.2 uh, roughly by about a hundred miles or so a little bit closer to this trench over here um, So yeah, um, like I mentioned it's possible we could see a much larger earthquake out here Considering this earthquake here is a lot deeper uh, Than the earthquake activity that we've seen uh, Earlier today following that 7.2. So just a heads up folks um, be on guard um, You know, it doesn't doesn't necessarily have to mean the people out there in, in the Fiji Islands region. It could be anywhere. Um, you know, it could be here in California. Who knows? But all I know now, we're starting to see the uh, signature of the other quake show up on the uh, San Andreas system here in California. You're going to see that pop up here uh, on the next update uh, on the data that comes in there. So uh, a good size earthquake and very deep. Uh, we're going to have to see if they revise this earthquake, um, but for now, USGS put in this earthquake at a 6.6 .6 magnitude, uh, as you can see right there on the globe. And I just kind of want to see how the next update here on the data is going to look. Like I said, it's going to show up on quite a few stations here, um, especially when it's a pretty good sized one and uh, deep in the uh, the. Uh, layers of the earth they're not super deep um, you know we've definitely seen a lot deeper earthquakes in that region uh, but uh, I'd like to keep an eye on activity uh, following a main shaker uh, you look at the different depths um, for clues on you know possibly a, a larger quake happening or, or maybe in a, a nearby area uh, but for now I'm still gonna keep an eye on it see what's going on with it uh, see it showing up on uh, Southern California, Mammoth Lakes, uh, San Andreas Station right there, and eventually a show up on Japan as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's a 6.6 .6 signature right here. That uh, pretty good size line of data coming in right there. I'm going to get this thing up on the tube right now, and uh, hopefully that'll be the last earthquake I report to you folks tonight. But uh, like I say, we're see what happens here next 12 24 hour window time frame is uh, of high importance here stay safe everyone peace